Hey, how's it going? We are back here with the Marvelite Podcast for episode 91. Join with me, as always, is the other host, Will. This show fucking stresses me out sometimes. <laughs> oh, boy. Also joined this episode is someone who hasn't been on for quite some time. Welcome back, Nicholas. Hi, everyone. Uh, this is our fourth <laughs> time trying this. We didn't hit record the other time, so... I over. did it like mine froze the other time. Yeah, we've just been like this is a constant like cycle of just trying to get this going, but we got it going now. So uh, before we get into all the Marvel light goodness, uh, how how are we doing today, Nick? How you been? I'm doing good, and I'll tell you why in a little bit. Ooh, Uh-oh. that's that's good. Find out next time on the Marvel light. Uh, Will, <laughs> how are you doing today? I'm okay. Um, I'm trying to get this done because I'm trying to go see Girls Trip later on. So mm. did, that, did that come out this weekend? It came out like last weekend. Yeah. Oh shoot. It's Damn, it's been good. a while since I've been to. I think it's uh, like third at the box office actually. Movie. Yeah, it beat it's Valeria well. in the opening weekend. Which is sad, but hey, at least it mean, at least it's good. Yeah, I've been hearing Valeria's been been fairly it's a floppy, stinky. but. Uh, yeah, that, yeah that, but that one I, Clider I guy that, but... keeps saying it's good, so I don't know. I, I gotta go. I gotta go support my girl Tiffany Haddish. She she finally hey. made it big. I feel that. I feel that. I've been pretty good though. Uh, yesterday was actually my birthday, so that was a uh, pretty cool. Hey. Just uh, hanged out for a bit. Yeah. How Some old is you friends. now? Uh, I'm a unknown number. Can't disclose that information. They'll get my govy. Uh, <laughs> You're not from this, America. This... They won't find you. <laughs> Yo, you'd be surprised, man. But anyway, let's just go dive into uh, some of the news topics for the week. Uh, it's been kind of a scarce, scarce Marvel week, Wait, I would say. I, I, I got a question, though. Oh, sure. What's S- up, Will? Since we, since we have other opinion here. Um, go for it. To, to harken back. Nick, what did you think about the Domino outfit? <laughs> I refuse your question. You're, you're always, you're always the, the outside opinion, so I yeah. figure I'd ask. No, I refuse your query. He, plead, he pleads the fifth. Yeah. I believe that's what, the uh, that's what it says in, in the American law book, right? But people right. were saying that her costume just looks basic or something. Like, the actual leather part of it is, like, underdesigned or something. I heard I heard quite a few people say they didn't like it because it, um, it was uh, lazy and basic. And I can kind of... When I, like, looked more at her costume, I'm like, I can kind of see that. But, you know. But it mm. actually looks exactly Whatever. like the concept art that leaked a while ago. Like, when Brad Pitt came out. The art, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It is true. So, but anyway, let's go dive into some uh, f- other Fox-related uh, Marvel news. So, as you guys know, the Fantastic Four really haven't been uh, having the best rap recently. Um, <laughs> with, Past ten with, years. <laughs> yeah, with from the movies to uh, just you know, Fox has the character rights, so Marvel just has been trying to cut them any way possible. Um, so it has been confirmed by Jonathan Hickman. You guys know Jonathan Hickman, the uh, comic book writer. He actually said that the Fantastic Four comics were canceled due to the film rights issues. Boy, howdy. I am so surprised. I am shocked and or astonished by this sudden news. My I Fantastic mean, it's, it's, Four? <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of those things where we like we kind of knew it. Everyone in the community was like, yeah, it's, it's, they're just trying to you know pull a, pull a fast one on them and just try and screw them over, I would say. Um, but Nick, what what do you think about Jonathan Hickman kind of confirming it? Uh, yeah, I mean it makes sense. It was what basically everyone thought. It's just kind of a shame that we haven't got any uh, Fantastic Four. I don't even remember the last time they had a, a comic. It was like 2015, maybe actually, like when the just, movie yeah, maybe. something like that was around. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of interesting. Also, uh, Hickman is pretty known for his Fantastic Four because he did like a like a six year run. That kind of led into uh, Secret Wars. That his it was all building up to his story with that. So, no, that's that's totally true, man. Like he was saying, he he had like one or two quotes about it, and he actually it seems like he's he's pretty upset about it. He says something along the lines of, uh, <clears throat> "I think it's pretty common knowledge at this point. Marvel isn't publishing Fantastic Four because of their disagreement with Fox. While it bums me out, I completely understand because well, it isn't like they're acting out of a cause. Fox needs to do a better job." And he also goes on to say, you know, he just kind of he feels bad because as a professional storyteller, he wishes he could just make a good story involving all the characters, but uh, that people would care about. Yeah. And it's kind of hard when they can't make them, so that does suck. Uh, it makes sense though from a, from a business perspective. I mean, if they don't own them, they and they they want to get them back. Why promote them? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Um, but Will, what's your uh, thoughts on that? I'm shooketh. So You're shook. I'm shooketh. Um, but I mean, yeah, it's just kind of more stuff that we already knew. Mm-hmm. So it's it's just not. It's just like getting the actual confirmation. It's like, yeah, that's not a surprise. But it's just like, I'm curious what they're gonna do moving forward. I suppose since they're supposed to be having that Doctor Doom movie. And Doctor Doom mm-hmm. actually is playing a role in the comics right now, so maybe that might be a joint venture or something that we don't know about. Because he's um he's infamous Iron Man right now, if I remember. Yeah. Okay. So he he actually does have a role in the comic books, unlike just about everyone else from the Fantastic Four hangout group. Hey, so who knows? Maybe they might be making some sort of a uh, resurgence. I know I've been I've been thinking there's a lot of like little breadcrumbs. Here and there, while we were talking about San Diego Comic Con, about potentially some sort of deal being being made behind the scenes, but uh, I hope so. Who, kn- who knows? Yeah, with like the whole Doctor Doom being announced. <sighs> Whatever happened with that? I remember that was like an ex- Luke was saying he had some info, and I was like, no. Nah, yeah, didn't... quick quick story time. We Luke, <laughs> you guys know Marvel Luke. Apparently, we would have no one else to like you know say this actually happened. He said he met somebody who apparently worked for Marvel and was a higher up, and she said that there was going to be some sort of announcement. That was really big on the Sunday um, of San Diego Comic Con that that weekend, and the Marvel panel, as you guys probably know, was on the Saturday. So we were kind of like, "Uh oh," um, and she was like, sort of hinting it might be some sort of Fox announcement, um, and that obviously didn't come <laughs> to be. But. Nothing he does pans out. Yeah. Was, uh... um, so we're gonna go through them again. Thank you for sending these with the hashtag Ask Marvelite. Marvel Yeet. Um, the Marvel Yeet. So this question is from. The regular Kieran nine nine three four, four, four. yep, yeah, exactly. Um, he asks, "What would your pitch on a Doctor Doom movie be?" Question mark. Question mark. Nick. Um, I'm not sure how to do this because it's like, do we? It's, it's like do you set the movie. I live in a universe where like it's just him, or is it like after the Fantastic Four, or is it a four? I don't know. Like, how does it? It would be like difficult to like figure that out, like if they exist or not yet. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, well, okay, what would your like? Let's say you wanted to make a Doctor Doom movie, you could choose whether it be the MCU or its own thing. How would you go about it? It'd probably be the easiest to do it in the MCU since you have so many like mm-hmm. established characters. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, that would be pretty cool to do it like that. Um, probably like some kind of a uh, something involving him and Iron Man or something would be awesome. I, yeah, no. I think uh, I think that's something along the lines I was thinking too. I mean, it, it, it might be like sort of a rehash, like with Iron Man's suit playing a big role in everything, and him being like the kingpin of all the shit. But I think it might be pretty cool for Doctor Doom, like his armor somehow is like a like a somehow like taken inspiration or some pieces from that in Iron Man. Mm-hmm. I think that'd be cool. I would love to see Latveria and all that shit. No, the Fantastic Four in the MCU. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Fingers crossed. They just come back from space. Doom is coming. Like what? <laughs> we so we talking about the the Doom question? Yeah, yeah. From uh, from Kieran. Um, yeah, what's your what's your pitch, Will? I mean, I'd love to see. Uh, yeah, probably set it in the MCU. Not involve any of the Starks. I just I just want an origin movie about how Doom grows up and takes over Latveria and tries to save his mom. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's a fine movie. And then it ends with him sitting on a throne. And then he just like I don't know. And then like in a post credit scene, he like pulls up a screen or something, and uh, like looks at Tony Stark or something. Just goes, <laughs> what if they like, did some shit next. where it was like <laughs> it's it wasn't set in modern day? Let's say similar to Captain Marvel. I'm just spitballing an idea here. Do it in the '80s. They do some shit like that where it's at like a different time period, and he goes to go find his mom and shit, and he gets like his like through time he gets like kind of like gone. He's he's out somewhere for a while. He comes back, and he's like really spiteful or pissed off at Iron Man or some like big figure in the MCU for some reason and that connects to the film. That Actually, might be pretty cool. Wait, dude, what if he went into another dimension to learn magic? Yeah, maybe they do some shit like that. He comes that back would be and then... boss and he's just gone for like 30 years becoming a super <laughs> wizard. A grand wizard, if you will. <laughs> yeah, that could explain his like why he's been gone for so long yeah. and comes back and sees like Iron Man took over his shit. So I guess it would be kind of similar to the Spider-Man uh, situation with the workers. Yeah. Did, well, actually, no. That wasn't that wasn't Iron Man directly, but yeah. D- disgruntled, um, disgruntled man, Doom. Yeah. Uh, so this does wrap up this episode. Thanks everyone for coming out to episode ninety one, I believe, for the Marvel Eight. 
the Marvel Yeet. The Marvel I hope you guys Yeet. enjoyed this episode. If you did, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And people on SoundCloud, uh, do what you do over there. Um, wrapping up this episode is Michael signing off for Nick. Yep, uh, you can follow Will. me on Twitter at who's underscore Nick. Mm-hmm. And also, uh, go to SoundCloud every time to listen to the full podcast. Yes, yeah. you guys should definitely go to SoundCloud and listen to the full uh, episode. Will, where can the people find you? Uh, they can find me basically everywhere at Will the Greatest, except Twitter, because I don't have a Twitter. Mm. But I have, like, other Now stuff. they know. And, of course, you guys can follow me over on my Twitter, Instagram, and uh, YouTube page at failwhale 34 This is Michael signing off for the Marvel Eat. I'll see you next time. Bye.